What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. And I have one question. How? How? How does Media Molecule keep getting away with it? How? How do they keep surviving? Everything around Media Molecule is being shut down, destroyed, evapor evaporated, as it should. And somehow, they just keep surviving the culling. I, I, I don't get it. Listen, I believe in Darwinism. It's not fucking working right now, bruh. I don't understand. Every time there's a studio closure, I bring them up and hoping that they're next. And they're never next. I keep telling y'all. Somebody at Media Molecule has compromising pictures at somebody at extremely high at, at PlayStation and Sony. Because there's no way. Somebody at Media Molecule has pictures of like the 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 one of the top executives at, at Sony like having some wild orgy or fucking somebody else's wife or maybe they're on the the end of that i don't know what it is but it's something compromising they have some dirty photos some something that could bury some important people okay they, they have something that could burn everything to the ground and they keeping it close. That's the only explanation why they are still open. Because they have not made anything respectable, anything that the commercial public has cared about in over a decade. And they're still open. So I'm very happy these other two studios are gone because listen, I'm. I'm a believer in when you don't do shit, you got to go. Because it's not like you're hurting me by going. You weren't servicing me anyway. Shut it down. I buried the lead. Uh, Neon Koi and um, Firewalk Studios have been shut down. PlayStation just released the, the press release. I don't got to read this whole thing. Um, we consistently evaluate our, our games portfolio and the status of our projects to ensure we're meeting near long-term goals, blah, blah, blah. As a result, we have decided uh, to shut down two of our studios, Neon Koi and, Fire, and Firewalk. Um, why are you messaging me now? Goddamn Teams sound gives me PTSD. Blah, blah, blah. You know, Neon Koi was, their, was that, that one mobile studio they had. That, I want to say they opened it, I want to say two, three years ago. Bro, message me again. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm putting you on mute. I'm putting you on mute now. Yeah, like two, three years ago, you know, they wanted them to make some, uh, I believe, turn some PlayStation IP into mobile games because, you know, there's a lot of money in that mobile space. So under, understandably, um, that didn't pan out. We heard we never heard about anything from from them. We knew they were working on some shit. But never really, uh, never really got anywhere, never really got any much information on it. So that's dead and gone. Listen, I don't really care. I was never going to play no mobile game they make. I don't give a fuck about the mobile space. Of course they do, because once again, there's money in that. So I understand why they were making that endeavor. Firewalk, we know that's been a dumpster fire, right? Concord was, was absolute fucking garbage. Um, I expected this Firewalk to be shut down. It's no surprise, you know, we know about how much money that was put in from the previous publisher and, and PlayStation. We know about the development hell and how much time they spent in restarting the project and the game is garbage and all this shit and had less than a thousand people playing an open beta and then, I don't know, a few, what, what was it? I don't know, less than 200 people at launch playing it and people were speculating, oh, maybe it could come back. No. It should never. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that was not the decision 
that they made because there would have been no comeback. It was grand opening, grand closing for this game. And, it, and if they tried to bring it back, it would have been grand opening, grand closing again. So there it is. There's been a bunch of closures. And let me just say out of this, they, they need to go back to the vetting process that they did prior prior to acquiring any studios, that vetting process they did before, it obviously worked wonders for them. Because you can see the difference in the studios they acquired without having that like relationship with them for a while, and the ones that they just picked up out of nowhere. Um, you see the difference in what happens. Uh, you shut down two of these studios, bro. Let's not miss the boat on Arrowhead. Arrowhead has created one of your most popular games this year, Helldivers 2, one of your most popular and successful multiplayer games ever. Go pick up Arrowhead before you fucking lose them because there's been situations and cases where PlayStation has had the chance to acquire other studios they should have but decided not to. Don't miss the boat on Arrowhead. You need to go acquire though, acquire them very quickly um, and, and lock them in. Um, oh my God, I'm looking at the Discord and there's some, there's some bitch ass bitches crying about, oh my God, the developer, oh my God, they're, oh, my heart goes out to the developer and I hate layoffs, oh my God, this sucks, I'm not going to be able to eat today and I don't think I could sleep, I'm going to go have to see my therapist, oh shut the fuck up bro the it's getting tired the act is getting tired bro it's played out come up with something else with your fake ass bleeding heart anyway go get arrowhead listen even even haven studios with what what the fuck are they making uh what's what's this? fair games huh, whatever bro and bungie with uh marathon whatever bro and then, look, my, my stance has not changed, let's be clear, and it will never change, of the pursuit and the, and the endeavor to make multiplayer games. My stance has always been that you still need to pursue it, you still need to, need, need to make these games and make these attempts, just got to do it the right fucking way. And that's, that's always been my stance, is they are not doing it the right fucking way. So this doesn't change my opinion, my viewpoint at all, nothing like that. I'm still looking forward to seeing how they adjust their strategy and change. Because this is something, the whole multiplayer initiative is something that can be accomplished and nothing is going to deter me. Nothing like discourages me um, about it. The way I see it is, You've just figured out another way not to do something. And I, th I think the formula is pretty clear if they would fucking pay attention to it and actually have their ear to the streets and know what gamers fucking want and not follow some goddamn trends. I even, I even said this, I, you know, with Bungie and everything, I thought if you wanted some multiplayer experts, I've said I always thought high-res studios would have been... I don't, I don't know, like, their situ high-res studios, like, their situation, if they're, you know, uh, who the... I guess the publisher is or who the owner is. But if you wanted some experts on how to make multiplayer live service games, bro, high res would have been better than Bungie to me. They've made Smite. They've made Paladins. They made Rogue Company. They made Realm Royale. Listen, all of these games have been very successful. You can maybe probably make the case that th these games may have not had the best longevity. Maybe. But all of them were profitable and they lasted long enough. This is a... This is a studio that's done very well for themselves, high res, you know, studios. Um, and I don't want to repeat myself too much. I mean, it, it, it's it's the same thing I said the last time something like this um, came up, you know, this this same situation. It just. They're going about handling this, you know, the wrong way, and I, it's it's definitely time that the turnaround uh, I would say that the turnaround starts. You made, you made a bunch of mistakes 
and how you do things. I don't think what they did was the mistake. I think how they did it was the mistake. So you made a bunch of mistakes. Now it's time to turn it around. We've seen them make a whole bunch of mistakes before in previous generations, and they turned this and they turned that around. And my thing has always been is I think people have somewhat short memory. PlayStation has been in a worse position than this, far worse in my opinion. And they've turned that around. To me, this this obstacle that they're facing right now is nothing compared to what they've faced before. This is to me, this is light work compared to what they've faced before. This is not something that they can't maneuver their way out of. I think they definitely can. The shit, the, the, the shit heap they were in during the PS3 generation, I think, was far worse than this, all things considered. Some people think that it wasn't as bad because they were still people still felt like the games, you know, they, they were, you know, all the games they got during the PS3 generation. Shit was still disastrous for them. And I believe like, you know, we're still getting games now. So it's it's just disastrous things happening all around um, in both generations, just in different ways. I think they can maneuver their way out of it anyway. Herman Hulse got to got to got to shape it up, got to clean it up, clean it up, nigga, clean it up. But. Why the why the fuck is me? I can't get over. Why the fuck is media molecule still here? Look. These, like I said, Firewalk is, is, is with some bullshit studio. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Um, get that shit the fuck out of here. As I said in my previous video. Whoever's been evaluating PlayStation multiplayer games in this in this initiative doesn't know how to evaluate multiplayer games. I believe they absolutely know how to evaluate and analyze single player. Multiplayer is a whole different beast. It's just way more dynamic years impact a, a multiplayer's uh, viability more than a single player. It's a lot more to it. So you can't judge and evaluate one how you, you, you evaluate the other. And you need a qualified person to do it. And I believe the ones who have been doing it, whoever it's been, whether it's Jim Ryan or Herman Hulse, they're not qualified for the multiplayer portion. I believe they need an expert. Just how people felt, felt like Xbox has kind of needed that like expert project manager. Um, throughout like last generation to help them gain, help their games get, go from the start to out the door. PlayStation needs that. They need the multiplayer Messiah. That's, that's what I'm gonna call it. I coined that phrase. They need the multiplayer Messiah, the guide, the shepherd to bring them from the desert to the promised land, the multiplayer Moses, if you will. And if y'all don't put that multiplayer Moses and Messiah into place, you're just going to keep wandering lost in the desert because you don't have a person with that specific expertise. That's the problem. The multiplayer Moses will bring you to the land of milk and honey and water and gold steps and all that good shit. So. It is what it is. Um. What else can I say about this? I, I don't think there's much else. Uh, tax write-off, I guess. Um, I'm neutral about the, the next few multiplayer projects. Like I, I'm indifferent about them because I haven't seen them, but you know, we'll have to see on, we'll have to see on those. Uh, And yeah, I'm sure they'll, once again, I, 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 I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to not just completely abandon this whole effort. It's more about, in a, in a, because they know there's a lot of money in it and it, and it comes with risk and they've just learned the, a bunch of wrong ways to do it. Um, so they, you know, they might get a little trigger, you know, shy on the trigger. A little bit, but I think, you know, they will just weigh the, the risk and, and the pros a little bit more now on this. But I don't think I, I don't think a lot of people the, to the people who think just completely abandon multiplayer and leave it alone. 
That's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Highly doubt that they are, they're going to completely abandon it. So, and listen, eventually, fucking eventually, I don't know when, but eventually they will make a, a multiplayer game that is extremely successful. People make it seem like there's this inherent thing with PlayStation that they can't make a, a great and successful multiplayer game. Not true. There's just nothing like it. This is not like a fucking... This is not like a, a, a built-in, you know, uh, genetic ability. Mo you know, making a multiplayer game is not a built-in genetic ability that only some can do and some can't. It's not like that. You may have to hire the right people. You may have to make some changes. You may have to adjust and all this other shit. But it, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Just have to make the right moves to do it. So that's all I'm say. Uh, hit the like button. Follow you know. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, all that good shit. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I guess. Peace.